Hey guys, Tanner Larson here. Let's talk a little bit about arbitrage, all right? So in the e-com world right now, arbitrage is a kind of a buzzword, it's a hot thing. Everybody's all excited about arbitraging products from China and using e-packet shipping and stuff like that and using AliExpress as a platform. So arbitrage isn't anything new. Basically, it's literally just making money off the middle. So you find a product at one price and then you sell it at a higher price and you don't buy the product until you sell it. And when you buy, when you sell it, you take the customer data, you go buy the product, and then you ship it, have it shipped to your customer. Now you can arbitrage on Amazon. You can arbitrage on any site, eBay, whatever. But the big thing right now has been taking AliExpress products, which is AliExpress obviously is the little sister of Alibaba, and putting these products up, running paid traffic to them or whatever, and then selling them, and then going and ordering them from AliExpress and having them shipped to the customer. Now, the problem here is this is being touted as a business model that's something, you know, hey, no money out of pocket, you don't have to buy inventory. They're kind of crossing it with the drop shipping and what they're doing is, or these the marketers who are selling it this way are making you think that this kind of business model is going to allow you to scale into a sizable business. And it's not, or it's also very dangerous. So first of all, PayPal absolutely hates arbitraging. They don't like it because the risk is higher. Okay, same thing with merchant accounts. They don't like arbitraging, specifically AliExpress and Chinese arbitrage, because there is weeks and weeks and weeks before the shipment actually arrives. So you you sell the product, you order it for your customer, and they ship, China ships it via e-packet, and four to six weeks later, your product shows up. A lot of times, also, the product's not even the same product, or it's not the same quality, or everything like that. But let's just talk about time. Mo and then the, the sellers aren't taking it on themselves to really announce to the customer that says, hey, it could take four to six weeks to get your product. Other, or if they do announce it, they put it in fine print at the bottom of their site. And they do this because they know that if they're honest with their customer, the customer is probably not going to buy because they don't want to wait four to six weeks to get, or, to get their product, or sometimes even longer. All right, And this leads to a lot of chargebacks, refund requests, issues with the merchant accounts and PayPal, and it's just not worth the risk for them. So they are actually actively seeking out and shutting down merchants that are doing the, Ali, or the AliExpress arbitrage model. I have friends of mine, actually mastermind members, who had a $500,000 a month arbitrage business going with tons of VAs and everything else. That was their gross, and their merchant accounts shut them down. Stripe shut them down said, hey, you're done. This is, not a, this is not a good business. This is high risk. We don't want it. You're done. Overnight, their business was gone because of the arbitrage model. Now, do I recommend that you do arbitrage as your business? No. Do I think arbitrage is okay? Yes, absolutely. Do we use arbitrage? Yes, we do. But the way we use it, the way we teach it, the way we recommend it is that you use arbitrage as a testing ground to either assimilate some market data, get some test results, test market a product that you're thinking about selling or to see if a, if a good complementary product can be found using this kind of model and then as soon as that happens you either move into a traditional drop shipping format where it's things are warehoused in your country or you move into the inventory space where you're actually buying product and then either shipping it to your warehouse to fulfill to Amazon FBA or to a third-party fulfillment house doing arbitrage that way is totally viable it's using it as a testing platform and not as the end all of your business. So with that guys, if you're doing arbitrage, I'm not saying, hey, you suck or anything like that. I'm not saying, hey, it's bad for you to do it. I'm just saying, hey, wake up, let's think about it. You're at risk. I don't want you to lose your merchant accounts. I don't want your business to dry up overnight. So if you are doing it, start thinking about ways that you can you know, transition out of it as your main income stream, all right? All right guys, I'll talk to you later.